In this next tutorial, I'm going to show you where ropes um, can be quite useful. Um, but I'm not just going to make a boring sort of rope tutorial. I'm going to decide to um, do something quite fun. So first of all, what I'm going to do is just grab this civilian car, in, car here and clone it. Right. Just I'll just take off physics. That look, looks pretty random. Just going to click on the y-axis and clone the car through here. Just raise this car up. Alright, now what I'm going to do is go to miscellaneous and choose a rope and choose a align to object. I'm just going to, um, okay, notice the green box at the end of the rope. This means the, the car is attached to the rope. Now you can go ahead and um, with the rope, what you can do is you can make the rope smaller. You can have more segments, so I might decide to have 50 segments to my rope. Um, and you can texture your rope by going to edit rope and choosing a texture like. Now if I select my car and and what I what I want you to do is as I drive my car, this other car is going to be pulled along. Alright, let's see if this works. Oops. Alright, so as you can see the other car is just um still holding on. Let's see if I can um, hop on the front of this car still. Okay, so I've taken out a tree, I've accidentally put a grenade in the first car, but as you can see the rope actually worked. Um, the the car actually was able to be pulled by the other one. Um, there's a quick tutorial on how to use ropes. By the way, you might want to have fun um, tie a rope to a boat and tie the other end to a helicopter and um, get one of your players to play a game and they might want to jump on the jump on the boat and go for a ride with the helicopter.